Okay, today we're going to look at converting uh, two centimeters to one to millimeters in our first problem on the page. Okay, when you're going to convert from one unit to another, you need to set up a proportion. Okay, so we have two centimeters, and we want to con we don't know how many, but we want to convert that to millimeters. So, question mark millimeters. We could also say x millimeters. And that is going to be equal to, we look at our uh, star chart and we see that one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. Alright, now you can see your proportion is complete. And you need to check it and make sure you set this up correctly your unit should be the same on the top, the numerator of both of these fractions and the denominator. And you can see right here, we've got centimeters on top and millimeters on bottom. Okay, now you need to solve the proportion. The way that we like to solve it is called the ball and bat method. All right, these two are going to be your bat, and this one is your ball, okay? And the way you do that is you multiply the numbers that are in the bat and you divide by the one that's in the ball. Okay, so let's do that. So 2 times 10, that's pretty easy, that's 20. All right, so we multiplied by the bat. And now we need to divide by the ball. So you take your 20 divided by 1, and that's pretty easy also, that's 20. All right, so your solution here is that 2 centimeters is equal to 20 millimeters. And that's it. Okay, now we're going to convert 60 grams to kilograms. All right, let's set up our proportion. First we have 60 grams, and we don't know how many kilograms that's going to be. And if we look at our star chart, we see that 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. All right, now we're going to check to make sure that our units are the same on the top and the bottom, and these are both grams. And these are both kilograms. All right. Now let's solve our proportion using the ball and bat method. Okay. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to multiply the bat, and then we're going to divide by the ball. All right. So let's start with the bat. Sixty times one is equal to sixty. All right. So that wasn't rocket science. Now we need to divide by the ball, so we need to take 60 divided by 1,000, all right? So 60 divided by 1,000. Yikes. 1,000 will definitely not go into 60. So what you have to do is add a decimal point and add some zeros. So we're going to add a decimal point here, and then we're going to add a zero. All right, will 60 go into, I mean, will 1,000 go into 600? No, it won't. It's still, 600 is still too small. So you have to add a zero here in your quotient and add one more zero. And now you have 6,000. Will 1,000 go into 6,000? Yes, it will, six times. Okay, six times 1,000 is 6,000. Okay, and that leaves you with zero. So 60 divided by 1,000 is 6 hundredths, or 0 0.6. All right, so what does this mean for our conversion? This means that 60 grams is equal to 0 0.06, or 6 hundredths kilogram. And that's it. All right, let's do number three. 
we're going to convert 400 centimeters to meters. All right, so let's set up our proportion. We have 400 centimeters, and we need to know how many meters that is. And if we look at our star chart, we see that 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. All right, let's check that our units are on the same sides. I've got centimeters on the top, I've got meters on the bottom, that's correct. Now let's do our ball and bat method. Here's our bat, and here's our ball. So we're gonna multiply the bat, so 400 times one. Okay, 400 times one is 400. That was pretty easy. Now we have to divide by our bat. Okay, so we're gonna take 400 divided by 100. All right, 400 divided by 100. All right, how many times will 100 go into 400? Well, that's pretty easy. It goes four times. And so our answer is four. So what does that mean that our answer is four? That means that 400 centimeters is equal to four meters, okay? If you ever look at a meter stick, you notice it has 100 centimeters on it. So one meter is 100 centimeters. So 400 centimeters is four meters. All right, that's number three. Okay, now we're going to do the rest of the problems on our own um, down to number 10. And then before we go on with the word problems starting at number 11, we're going to watch a little bit more video. All right, let's look at number 11, the first of our word problems. If one paper clip has a mass of one gram, and 1,000 paper clips have a mass of one kilogram, how many kilograms are 8,000 paper clips? Okay, so we need to set up a proportion, and we need to know if we have 8,000 paper clips. So how many kilograms is that? All right, well, we don't even have to look at our math star chart for this one, okay? Because it tells us right here that 1,000 paper clips, I'm gonna abbreviate paper clips PC, is equal to one kilogram, all right? So let's solve our proportion with our ball and bat method. Here's our bat. And we're going to multiply the bat, and then we're going to divide by the ball. Okay, so 8,000 times 1. That's pretty easy, 8,000. All right, and then we have to divide by the ball, so we have to divide 8,000 by 1,000. All right, 8,000 divided by 1,000. All right, how many times will 1,000 go into 8,000? Eight times, okay. And there's no remainder, so that's it. So what does this answer 8 mean? That means that 8,000 paper clips equals 8 kilograms. That's your answer right there. All right, let's take a look at number 18. I'm gonna help you set this one up, but I'm not gonna do it completely for you. All right, it says Jessica's object is 20 centimeters long and 10 centimeters wide. How many more millimeters is the length of the object than the width? Okay, two things you gotta do here. You gotta figure out how much um, longer it is than the width, and then you've gotta convert centimeters to millimeters. All right, how much longer is the length and the width? Well, it's 20 centimeters long and it's 10 centimeters wide. Just subtract those two and that'll give you the difference. And then when you subtract these, take that difference and convert it from centimeters to millimeters using your proportion. Okay, I'll let you do that one on your own. 
All right, now let's take a look at number 20. Number 20 is three steps to solve it, okay? It says, Carlos has a 1.2 meter long piece of wood. He wants to cut it into three equal lengths. How long should each piece be in millimeters? Okay, so he wants to cut it into three equal lengths. That means divide by three. So the first thing you're going to do is figure out how long each of those uh, lengths of three equal pieces is going to be. 1.2 divided by 3. Okay. How many times will 3 go into 1.2? Well, don't forget to bring up your decimal point. And 3 will go into 1 point, or 3 will go into 12 four times. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay. So each piece is going to be 0.4 meters long. Now you can need to convert meters into millimeters, but if you look at your math star chart, you won't see anything that shows meters to millimeters. What you do see though, if you look at your math star chart, okay, you see you can convert meters to centimeters, and then you can convert centimeters to millimeters. So that's what you need to do. First, convert your 0.4 meters to centimeters and then take that answer and convert it to millimeters. So you're going to do two proportions to solve it. All right. I think you can handle it.